Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today we're going to be making Eggo sandwiches, but bacon, egg, and cheese Eggo sandwiches, it's, it's breakfast for dinner, right? Who doesn't like breakfast for dinner? So come join me, and um, we're going to have some fun. It's Jaden. Hi. Hi, it's Jaden. How are you? You're first. Well, thank you for coming in, and thanks for being first. I appreciate that. So I hope everyone's doing well. And we're going to get to this. Hello, Nathan Barrett. Hello. How are you? Second. Uh, Bacon Cat. Hello. Third. I saw Bacon had to click on this. Of course. We're going to be making this. It's going to be a fun thing. Um, I, I love Eggos. I make Eggos all the time. I put like peanut butter on them or syrup on them. Uh, how do you guys eat Eggos? Do you all eat them just as they are, or do you put something on there in particular? I always like them, like I said, I, sometimes I do crunchy peanut butter, sometimes I do smooth peanut butter. just depends on what mood I'm in. Uh, let's see. Norton Family. Norton, hi. The Creative Paradise. Hey. Bacon Cat. Hooray for bacon. Of course, bacon's the best part. Uh, Philip C. says fourth. And Tina. Hi, Tina. How are you? So we're going to make this. It's pretty simple. Um... I was thinking of something to make and, you know, and I was like, why not? Let's make uh, breakfast for dinner. Sometimes on an open fire, like s'mores. Yep. See, that's good too. With cinnamon sugar, Nick, Nick's vlog and more. Okay, so we're going to get to this pretty easily. Uh, one of the things we got to do is actually make an egg. Now, I think I'm going to do scrambled eggs and we're going to kind of work here. Um, there you go. Let me angle this down anyway so you don't see my messy kitchen. <laughs> so I'm going to just set this stuff aside at the moment. And one trick I do when I'm making scrambled eggs is I like to put it in a cup first. And I do that for a couple of reasons. But first let's crack open. I'm going to use two eggs here. Hopefully the echo isn't too loud. So I'm going to crack open two eggs here. And I'm being careful because I'm on a live stream. Normally I just crack it open with one hand. <laughs> yeah, it's different when you can edit a video. <laughs> um, let's see, let me go to the comments so I can see. Uh, I like Eggo with Nutella. That's a good, I've had that before too. Eggos with Nutella is really good. I'm kind of late, I think. Oh, no, you're not late, Koala Freak. Uh, yum, I wish I were, <laughs> I wish you were my chef. Oh, yeah. Bacon is awesome. You're right about that, 100%. Uh, how do we make candy canes? I should make candy canes one time. That would be fun. Can you shout out Rosie? Okay, Rosie, hi. Uh, no Mountain Dew Eggos. Uh, no, I have made Mountain Dew waffles, which is pretty close. This is the highlight of my day. Awesome, Sophia. Um, if you crack one egg on the other, it'll leave a cleaner opening. Huh. I should have. You should have told me that before I cracked the eggs. Is it just me, or do I hear an echo? Do you hear the echo? Okay. Let me put that down there. Okay, does that help the echo? I hope. Because um, I had my earphones up a little bit. And um, um, let's see, Famous YT. Hi, OMG, I am a fan. I am the one who told you to make Hot Pockets. I never got my cut. You never got your cut. <laughs> but those Hot Pockets were really good. So good choice on that. So Famous YT. Go check the, that person out. Hayton, what's up? How are you? Okay, so we're going to get back into this. Um, so I was saying that I usually crack them into a, a cup or something first. And the reason I do that is then I can mix it really easy and get them nice and mixed up. That way you can be sure that it's mixed well before you put it on your frying pan. Now, of course, I have my frying pan right here right now. I should really have it on the heat. So I'm going to put it on the heat, heat it up. I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray. And of course you're not going to see that part, but um, 
you know. And here's the bacon, just so you guys can look at the bacon. I like my bacon extra crispy. Some people like it wiggly. That's fine either way. I just put this in the microwave because I find it easier to make it extra crispy in the microwave. Mountain Dew candy canes. That would be cool. Uh, that's great. Uh, sounds like you're in a cave. It, does it still have that sound? I hope not. Let me see. It, it was weird when I opened it up. Can I? So I'm just testing my mic. It is weird. Let me see if... Um, let me see what audio is showing on my thing. Because see, what it was was I... Let's see, I like my bacon extra crispy. Oh yeah, definitely. Usually have dinner for breakfast. Oh yeah, dinner for breakfast? It's not uh, breakfast for dinner. Unless you have like cold pizza or something. All right, so now I am going to take this and just heat this up. There we go. So I know you don't see that part, but uh, I'm just making scrambled eggs, which is pretty basic. So hopefully the sound will get better. Is that high pitch thing? Yeah, this sound is not good. <laughs> but hopefully we'll work on that. Let's see. Output. External mic. What is it? Yeah, this sound is annoying. <laughs> Why is my sound like this? So, I will work on the sound, I'm not ignoring you guys, and I'm trying to cook at the same time. This is fun. Alright, so we'll get that worked out in a little bit. And I think right there, audio. Yeah, I think that'll, yeah, let's see that. Alright, so does my sound sound better now? I hope so. I hope my sound is better now. Sounds better. Not much now. Okay. So I just switched it to this mic, which is the mic I plugged in, but I plugged it in late. So um, it should be over to that mic now, and it should be better sound-wise. Uh, let's see. I'm just glancing over my eggs because I'm trying to make that. Can you make mozzarella sticks for a video? That's a good suggestion. Um, I love mozzarella sticks, so that's that's good. Uh, the bacon looks good. I know, bacon does look good. I can just eat bacon just like this, but I need it for my sandwich. Um, let's say I had thick cut bacon, marinated, and maple syrup. Oh, that sounds amazing. Sounds... Do you always do live videos? I do live videos every Tuesday night at 6 p.m., so about 11 minutes ago I went live. Um, just let me check this... Uh... Scrambled egg, real quick. So I'm kind of doing a couple things at the same time, but we're gonna get it going here. Um, I got a lot going. I really needed assistance, is what I need. Mainly just for the uh, doing dishes, but <laughs> uh, see, it sounds better now. Awesome. Do you always do live? Yeah, I already read that. For a future video, could you try to make cheese burger where the cheese is used as the bun and the toppings are the burger? That's a great suggestion, Bacon Cat. And of course, we have to put bacon in there too, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's a great suggestion. And I can think of a couple different ways of doing that too. Oh, you got to go, Nathan? Awesome. Well, glad glad you stopped by for a bit. Sorry the audio wasn't all that great at first, but hopefully it's better now. Um, check my eggs real quick. And the best part about scrambled eggs is they're pretty much done. I just made it into this circle now. It's quite a big circle, but um, probably cut it in half. Let's do that. 
because that'll be enough for two, basically. All right, so. <clears throat> so we're going to assemble our... <laughs> oh, you're just kidding. Oh, what I got to do now is actually put these in the toaster. When they come out of the toaster, what do you guys think? Um... You want to look at me or the bacon? I know if I had my choice, I'd take the bacon. But, um, so what do you guys think about when the Eggos come out of the toaster? Should I like cover them with butter first or um, should I do anything to it? Uh, so Mega Man says do a taco bowl. Good suggestion. I like tacos. Uh, so when Eggos come out, should I cover them with butter first or should I... Just put like butter on the inside or no butter at all. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I need your help. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, I hope too many people didn't like click off just because my sound was horrible. <laughs> Scrambled eggs turned out awesome in a microwave. Yeah, you know, I've never made them in a microwave, the scrambled eggs. So butter it. So creative paradise says butter it. Make a syrup butter mixture. Hmm. You know, that sounds interesting. Is syrup butter and then it'll be, hmm. You know what? We can try it because uh, you suggested that bacon cat. Let's do that because why not, right? Let's be creative here. So we'll make a syrup butter mixture. I got syrup. Let's move our bacon to the side. We don't want it to go too far away. Um, let's see. I have a little bit of butter here that's like softened at room temperature. Might need to melt it a little. But put, put some syrup on there. I'm not going to do a whole lot of syrup. What do you think? probably about a tablespoon that's about a tablespoon of butter and about a tablespoon maybe a little less than a tablespoon of syrup because this was a suggestion by bacon cat uh, could you also use sausages instead of bacon? yes you could absolutely it, that's the best part about this you can do it any way you want let's get a butter knife Now I'm gonna just mix this up with this. So it's maple syrup and butter mixture because this was courtesy suggestion by Bacon Cat. And then we'll, I think that's enough. Okay. Uh, you surprised me. I thought you were going to make a chug jug, but the boogie bomb is really good though. I'm glad you enjoyed that, the boogie bomb cake. I had fun making that. Uh, who knows, the chug jug might be coming out soon. We'll see. All right, so my Eggos popped up, but I need to pop them back down just a little bit more because I like them a little more toasty than that. Uh, while we're deciding on that, let's decide, should I use mild cheddar cheese or should I use American cheese? So let me know. Need your help. Um, Rudina Bell, I, it looks like it's Arabic writing. I don't understand Arabic, I wish I could. <laughs> Have you tried almond butter on waffles with apple crisp? No, I have not tried that, but it sounds good. Sounds amazing. Do like that. So right here, what we have is a suggestion by Bacon Cat in the comments. This person suggested I make maple syrup and butter mixture to put on our waffles when they come out, our Eggos anyway. So when they come out of the toaster, we're gonna put them, I'm gonna put them on the inside. That way we can hold it like a sandwich without getting, you know, stuff all over us. Cheddar, American. So we got, looks like three cheddar and one American. Two American. For, I'm asking about the cheese. What kind of cheese do we use? American cheese or cheddar cheese? So 
Um, we have three American, three Cheddar. Uh, cheddar. Cheddar has a tart. You better bite while American has a creamier one. Yeah, so that's the hard part. I mean, we could always use both. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that, right? So it, it is a debate. That's why I said cheddar or American. It's kind of like up in the air there. It's up to you guys. Whatever you decide. Right now, it looks like it's tied. Three American, three cheddar, so I need a tiebreaker somewhere. <laughs> Do both. One on each side. You know, you can't go wrong with that. I bet. You already, you already voted. <laughs> I bet. I bet Hernandez already voted. She's voting again. <laughs> Uh, I second Jillian. Yeah, do both, right? Howdy, y'all. Howdy. Yep. So we are going to do this. Oh, yesterday I made a recipe. Oh, let me check this real quick. Oh, yep. Good, good thing I checked that. It's starting to burn. Whew. So I have toasted our egos. Ooh, they're hot. This side's a little more toasty. So we're going to do both. Okay. So we're going to do both, right? Why not? It's a live stream. Let's have some fun. So here we go. We're going to put this. This is just maple syrup and butter mixed together because this was a suggestion by Baking Cat. So I'm going to butter the inside of each of our, our Eggo waffles here. Not a lot because, you know... Just enough, because this is really going to be a bake, a breakfast for dinner here. This smells amazing. This bacon or this butter with maple syrup in it does smell amazing. I'll give you that. Look at that. We always come up with crazy stuff, right? So here we go. So now we have that perfect ego cheddar, 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 cheddar cheese. Howdy, world supporter. Howdy. Um, don't do both. Ooh, see, I don't know. I might. Let's see. So these are going to be the inside of our little Eggos. You should have melted it first. The cheese. Oh, because this is hot and the egg is hot, it'll do its job melting. So between that and we'll put the egg on here. So now we have the hot egg, we have the hot cheese, and let's put some bacon on here too. What do you think, about two pieces of bacon? I think it needs another piece of cheese. So we'll do the American too. <laughs> so JTB Champion says cheddar, 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 cheddar. I know. Cheese on a waffle? Never seen that before. Well, you come to the right place for things you've never seen before. So I'm going to put that on the inside. Look at this. Check out that. So this is going to be our breakfast sandwich. And it's pretty amazing when you think about it. i got to get a couple of pictures of that. So, I mean, that's as simple as it is to make this. It doesn't get much simpler than that. Let me um, move some stuff out of the way. Because we got to get some good pictures here. Let's see, should I do... Got to get the bacon kind of like hanging out for the picture, right? We have to get a good picture for Instagram. The bacon's already starting to melt to it. Cheese, egg, bacon. Pop out a couple of good pictures here. I do need lighting. My lighting's bad because it's on me, not on the... So sorry I'm not talking to you at the moment, but I'm just taking some pictures for Instagram. Do you mind mailing me some? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. 
It's kind of like a McGriddle, you're right. It's a lot like a McGriddle, but we're using um, Eggos instead of a pancake thing. So yeah, that's pretty much what it's like. You know, I think you got hit the nail on the head there. So I took some pictures for that. That'll be the new thumbnail when I'm done with this live stream. And uh, I gotta get some pictures from my phone too. Gotta do that. Yep, yeah. I think that's good on pictures. All right, so back to this. We're gonna we're gonna taste this now because uh, that's the thing about making YouTube videos, food videos, is because when I make these videos, a lot of times I don't get to eat this stuff until it's cold. That's not good, right? <laughs> so let me uh, see your comments right here. Uh, no way. Uh, always have a cheese corner out towards it you're right that's a good 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 um suggestion but i kind of put the both cheeses the same way i should have actually turned it a little bit kind of like that would probably have been better so you kind of have that cheese current cor corner like that that would probably have been better <laughs> uh hey james it's josh here i made the art oh yeah josh uh yeah i see josh so Josh is amazing. I shared on Twitter, Josh made some channel art stuff for me. And it said Fun Foods is really creative. So if you follow me on Twitter, go check it out. I think I shared it yesterday, I believe. Uh, really cool guy. He, um, you know, it was really nice of him to make that channel art. I, I love it when people make stuff like that. That's just, a, it's fascinating to me because I don't have that ability. I'm not good to channel at like art and all. So uh, it's really cool when I see stuff like that. So thanks, thanks again, Josh, for doing that. That's really cool of you. Uh, undercooked microwave porridge drowned in milk. Oh, uh, that was your breakfast, Josh? Uh, oh, come on, redo that. <laughs> you could have made two open-faced sandwiches instead. You're right, I could have. I noticed you had egg left. I do, and trust me, I will use it after this is done. It won't go to waste. Uh, where is the syrup running over top of it? Mm, see, that's a good suggestion, but it's quite messy for a live stream. Then I'll get my fingers all like syrup all over them. Like and subscribe. Very good. So what do you say we test test this out and see how it tastes? Because I know what you're, that's what you're waiting for, right? So we got to try this out and see how it tastes. Remember, now this is, I'll just go over it with you in case you came in late. So we have two Eggos here, one on each side. I put it in the toaster, just like you'd normally do an Eggo. We have pre-cooked bacon. I put two pieces, which I broke in half, each one. So it's like four little strips, but um, two pieces of bacon. Uh, we have American cheese on top. We have cheddar cheese, mild cheddar at the bottom, and we have scrambled egg. And, uh, oh, did I mention that Bacon Cat on this live stream suggested that we butter this, butter our Eggo, with not only butter, but butter and maple syrup. So I just mixed butter and maple syrup. So now we're going to give this a taste test here and try it. You're making me hungry, James. Uh, you haven't ate nothing yet. So I'm going to eat it right now. Um, you know, I just kind of go through <clears throat> describing what I just made. And here we go. really good and you can probably see the um, butter coming through the ego itself it is so saturated with butter it's really good it has that um, it has a nice taste to it that uh, that maple syrup and the butter really good taste I probably need a little more of that maple syrup on there I think you're right somebody commented that it should have like maple syrup pouring all over it it probably would be better if I did that <laughs> um, Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I got a nap. <laughs> oh man, 
So this is pretty amazing. You guys never fail me. You guys always come up with some great, great suggestions into my live streams, whether to use certain recipes and stuff. You guys are amazing. Can you make one of Gordon Ramsay's burgers? I could, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Any tips on how to make perfect eggs? Sometimes my eggs have uh, egg juice left. Um, oh, egg juice left. Uh, I would say if you heat up your pan first before you put the eggs in there, some people make the mistake of just putting their eggs in and then heating the pan up like a cold pan. If you heat up your pan a little bit before you put the eggs in there, usually it comes out okay. Yep, that would be my tip. And if you have a cast iron pan, that works out really well because the heat is very even and it evenly distributed throughout the pan. So that works out really, really well. Um, so yeah, you guys are, are amazing. You helped me out through this and I can't wait to eat the rest of this, uh, but I'm gonna wait until I get off camera so I can still talk while I'm on camera right now. But I am, oh yeah, sorry you're late. Oh, no problem. I'll just show you what we made. We're done making it, but I'm gonna angle this camera down. This is, and I'll point it out so the people who come late. I already took a couple bites. These are Eggo waffles, just Eggo waffles. You can get them at any grocery store. We have scrambled eggs in here. We have bacon. We have American cheese there and cheddar cheese there. And the butter I put on the waffles was not only butter, but butter and maple syrup combined. And that was a suggestion by Bacon Cat on here on this live stream. So that was really cool. Um, and of course, it tasted amazing. So I love that part. Actually, I'm going to take another bite right now just because it's that good. And I don't want to eat it too cold. I can always heat it up. Mm. Mm. Have, how you found about four hundred? <laughs> oh, so famous YouTube says how I found about uh, Fortnite. So the Fortnite cake I made was pretty cool. Um, I do plan on making other Fortnite things, Fortnite themed desserts. So keep an eye out for that. I don't know what I'll put out this uh, Sunday. I did make a video yesterday. In fact. I want a big, a big shout out to, he's not on live stream right now, his name is Jack, he sent me fan mail like uh, in my mailbox, my P.O. box, and it was a recipe. I made that recipe that he sent to me, and I made it yesterday, I still have to edit the video, so that might go out Sunday, I don't know, but if you're watching this on the playback, Jack, awesome, his name is Stitch the Voice on YouTube, so that's how it comes up on his YouTube username. But really cool. Um, that might go out Sunday. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. I had a great time making that. Needs more bacon. Mother lover says needs more bacon. Uh, Reese's Cups cake. I've made a couple different Reese's. I made Reese's Cups pancakes. Reese's Cups. Looks good. Love the video. Thank you. Uh, crazy too. Yep. Um, do you think it's easy to make candy canes? I don't know. See, I've never made them, but I've seen people make them before. So I do want to try that. And I think I will try that. I probably want to get a little closer to Christmas time because, you know, candy canes, people associate with Christmas. I would try this with the chocolate chip flavored Eggo. Oh, or blueberry. I have blueberry Eggos. I was debating on whether to give you a choice between the blueberry or regular Eggos. But with the stuff I was putting on there, I was like, ah, I think just regular Eggos works good. So I do love Eggos. Uh, they are fairly easy to make. You're right, they are. I love Eggos. Or the candy canes. You're talking about the candy canes, bacon cat. Yeah, so uh, they seem pretty easy. Oh, Joseph, hey, how are you, my friend? Uh, you should do uh, food only using canned food. Huh, like, okay, that would be interesting. You know, that would be a good challenge. Like, um, like if I'm at an event like YouTube or Playlist Live, is like a uh, try to make something out of canned food just bring some canned food and me and maybe other youtubers we try to make something out of you know canned food that'd be pretty cool maybe splitting teams almost like iron chef style 
It's cool how you make some food. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Homemade pizza waffles. Now, see, there's a suggestion. Yeah. I do have something planned with pizza, but that's actually a collaboration planned. Um, and we haven't shot the collaboration yet, but I already have something uh, thought up. Not with waffles, but with pizza. Are you a waffle or a pancake guy? Um, I prefer pancakes over waffles, but I like them both. <laughs> mm, I use organic pan because they don't need butter. See, they are, I'm sorry, not organic. <laughs> Argreenic. Is that Orgreenic? I think I'm pronouncing it right. So they don't need butter, those those pans. Yeah, see, that's good. Yeah, if you don't need butter, you, yeah, that's great. Uh, another tip is if you're if you're afraid your butter's gonna burn, you can use um what's that butter called? It's um uh, I can't even think right now, <laughs> but it'll come to me. Uh I have some in the refrigerator, but sorry for the swarm. I'm a chef myself. Oh, awesome. I appreciate that. Well, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I, I love the fact that other people watch this stuff. And whether you're a chef or not, it's, you know, I just love having fun with food. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Famous, both. Uh, I love pancakes. Awesome. Hi, Aiko Rodriguez. Hi. Uh, Christina Marie. Hi, how are you? Everything's better with butter, though. You're right. So for those of you coming in late, I'm going to show you what we made. We're done making it, and I'll just brief. It was real simple and easy to do. Now, I've already taken a few bites of this. But this is Eggos, these two bottom, bottom and top piece Eggos. I just put in a toaster like you normally would. Then we have, I have mild cheddar cheese and American cheese at the bottom. So just split them up a bit. We have strips of bacon in here, and we have scrambled eggs. Now, the Eggo itself... This was a suggestion by Bacon Cat, is not only use butter, but also butter and maple syrup. So I combined butter and maple syrup and spread it on the Eggo, and it was amazing. In fact, I'm gonna take another bite. Mm. Mm. Very good. Mm. <clears throat> Okay, so next question was, is this my only job or where else do I work? This isn't my only job. I work in food services business, delivery. Uh, so this isn't my only job. <laughs> Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't pay quite that much. Uh, pizza or mac and cheese sandwich? Hmm. Wow. I love mac and cheese. I love pizza. So, oh, pizza, mac and, so you want like a whole pizza, mac and cheese sandwich. Almost like healthy junk food style, huh? You're a cool cook, love your eyes. Thank you, Sean, I appreciate that. Sean Harper. Uh, looks delicious, thank you, Joseph. You're eating a popsicle right now? Well, it's perfect, the weather's nice. I don't know where you are exactly, but the weather's nice and um, perfect popsicle weather here in the U.S. for the most part. You're making me hungry? Yep, <laughs> awesome. Uh, have you ever made Japanese cuisine? I have not. I have a friend who's a YouTuber. Um, uh, what is, I cannot think tonight. I can't even think of their channel names and they're doing quite well too. Um, he's from Japan and they make obviously Japanese cuisine because they're from Japan. I cannot think of their name. That's Tabby Eats. Tabby Eats. That's the name of their channel. Um... What's the best thing you've made on your opinion? Um, well, it's hard because there's a lot of different things. Um, the best thing I've made, I love a taco ring, which is a very simple thing. It's just like, uh, was it croissants? You lay them out, you pre-cook the meat, like, you know, beef. I use beef. Um, cheese, and that's the basics of it. You put that in the oven, you cook it, you bring it out, and then you can just decorate it, just decorate it you can top it just like you would any other taco you know with like lettuce tomato sour cream stuff like that more cheese um yeah so i that to me is the best like food that i met made but as far as dessert there's a lot of different desserts i made that i love also what part of the u.s do i live um 
I'm here in California. Oh, so Famous YT is in California. I'll be in California next month for VidCon in Anaheim, California. I live in Maryland. Um, in fact, just over my shoulder, you might, let's see. Yeah, so right back here, way in the distance is Baltimore Ravens Stadium, but way back. <laughs> So, yeah, you can't really see it from my house, but it's back that way. <clears throat> and the airport's right around the corner. So that's good. We're close to the airport, so when I travel a lot, I don't have to go far. Uh, let's see. Really good. King Lions. Do you watch anime? I don't watch anime. I know what it is. No, like mac and cheese as the burger and the pizza like the bun. See, that's a great suggestion there, Uh JTB champion. See, you you have a long name. <laughs> we'll just say JTB. How about that? Or champion. We'll just call you champion. Uh, I'm in Gresham, hmm, which is in the United States. Cool. So, yep, awesome. But hope everyone's having a good Tuesday night. I am going to close this live stream out in just a minute. But last suggestions, last comments, let's get those in. Um, but this was amazing what we made. Uh, what's the worst food you've ever had? Ooh. Uh, it's funny. I, I don't like spicy food, but I've actually had really good spicy food, believe it or not, even though I don't like spicy food. Um, worst food I ever had? <laughs> Blood pudding or black pudding, however you want to say it over there. Uh, in the UK, they love their their black pudding, and um, to me, that's like really not good at all. <laughs> I've had haggis, and I like that better than the black pudding. Yes, yeah, so that would be the worst food I've ever had. I think. <clears throat> do I have a wife? I do not. I'm not married. Uh, you should make African food. Good suggestion. I'm always up to learning new foods. That's the best part about YouTube and doing this and not really having a set thing that I can do. Most of the time I do desserts. So I might do like an African dessert. I'll look it up and try to make something. <clears throat> uh, try to make Indian food. And that's funny, I've made Indian dessert kofi. Uh, I think I'm saying it right. It's like K-U-L-F-I, I believe. I'd made that like a year and a half ago, and you know people love that recipe, and a lot of my viewers come from India. I think like 9% of my viewers come from India, which is high, which is a very high percentage. And um, you know they loved that recipe, and I was like, great, I'm glad I made that. Even though I've never had the official coffee, like, um, in, like I've never been to India. So, uh, let's see, taco recipes, please, yes. Everyone loves taco recipes. <laughs> well, I came close. I made the uh, cotton candy burrito. That's close, right? <laughs> uh, next time, can't you make a cheeseburger? Yeah, I could. If you don't mind, I could share some my recipes. Hey, by all means, um, you can always comment below. If you go into the about section of my page, there. if you go into like the email, it says like business replies, but you can always uh, reply with anything like that. I am happy to hear from you guys. And you can follow me on any of my social media at FunFoodsYT, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, um, Snapchat, all of it's FunFoodsYT. Uh, you're the best YouTuber. Thank you. Y'all are awesome. I love you guys. I love talking to you guys. That's why I do these live streams every Tuesday because I, I want to talk and interact with you guys because you're amazing. So we're going to close this out now. I just wanted to show you this quick little simple recipe, but really I just wanted to come on here and have a conversation with you guys because you're awesome. But here it is. We made it. It's Eggo sandwich, breakfast sandwich for dinner. It's just Eggos, eggs, cheese, bacon, and my new best thing is the butter with maple syrup. I love coffee. Uh, you should come to India and should make more Indian food. I would love to go to India. It's on my list. I want to go there definitely. And I'm going to look up more Indian food to make for sure because I really want to do that. I want to like really make different things from different cultures. I think it would be fun. So guys, I'm closing this out saying goodbye. I hope everyone has a great rest of the week. Um, I'll see you next Tuesday for another live stream. 
But of course, between then, I'll be putting a video up on Sunday. I should have one up on Saturday. I haven't made it yet. So I'm, I'm hoping my Saturday video will be a Mountain Dew video if it goes up. And Sunday will be a normal video. It'll either be the video I made from one of my viewers here. They gave me a suggestion, a recipe, which is really cool. Uh, or it'll be something totally different. Maybe Fortnite. <laughs> Who knows? All right. So, oh, Tech Gadgets, you're here. We're just leaving. <laughs> but you can watch the replay and um, you'll see. It's okay. You're late. Uh, I'm glad you made it. But thanks for coming in, even though we're getting ready to leave. But watch the replay, and as always, comment in those replays. I love seeing your comments, and I will respond as quickly as possible. So hope everyone has a good evening, good weekend. I will see you guys soon.